lovely humans, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are here for another fun video. So this is going to be a little bit of a mishmash. Um, I did a little bit of Halloween decor hunting yesterday and today. Yesterday I was able to stop out at Michael's and I went to Walmart and I think that was it. I may have gone somewhere else, but my brain is... Uh, I went to Spirit Halloween too, but they had nothing new, so I didn't really do any any video footage there. Um, but I did want to showcase a couple things that I found. Walmart was kind of disappointing. They don't have any of their decor out just yet. Um, they had some like fall swags and pumpkins and fall decor, but nothing substantial for Halloween yet. Aside from a couple pieces I have been looking for uh, that's not decor, it's food related, um, I will show you the footage here in just a second. And um, I also have a little bit from Michael's that I want to show you. And then today I stopped at Meyer to go grocery shopping, which is my local uh, grocery department. Anything you possibly need, you can find here store. So I know Meyer is kind of a region specific. It is from Michigan, but we have a ton of them here in Ohio. And I think that they extend over into Indiana and possibly Illinois as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do know Ohio and Michigan have Myers aplenty. Uh, so I stopped there today to go grocery shopping, found a couple other terrific things, and they have started to put out their Halloween decor. So like I said, they're similar to Walmart where you can kind of go there and get everything. Your groceries, your automotive needs, your lawn needs, your... Um, pool needs your uh basically anything you need dvds shoes clothes they got you covered so um yeah i found a couple great things and i did find yesterday at walmart i found a new night shirt i like to wear big oversized shirts when i go to bed and so i found one <laughs> yesterday that says pumpkin spice is my witch's brew on it and i said Yes. Yes, it is. And I bought it. So uh, that was my one of my purchases yesterday, along with the uh, food items I'm going to show you. And then today I took, oops, motion detected at my front porch. It's my husband cleaning up our yard. We're having people over for a little early Labor Day thing. Um, I forgot what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, but yeah, so Meyer had started bringing out some of their Halloween stuff. They didn't have everything out just yet, um, but they did have a substantial amount. And some of the decor was really cute and I haven't seen it anywhere else before. They had these little shelf sitters um, that were, uh, I think there was a skeleton, a witch, and a, a ghost. And they had laptops and they were holding cups of coffee. And I thought they were just the cutest damn things. Um, so I took a little bit of footage there, probably about 10, 15 minutes worth. Um, so I'm going to tack that on the end and a little bit of Michael's if I can get that um, put together because I think that there was some music playing in the background so I'm to see, have to see if I can put some other music over the top of it to uh, get rid of that copyright issue but um, we're going to just kind of splurge all this together and um, get this uploaded today because uh, another reminder today is the last chance for you to um, get included into my subscriber giveaway so if you are subscribed to my channel and you comment on my previous video um, you will be entered into a, uh, a giveaway for a Universal Monsters t-shirt so I will be doing that um, drawing probably Wednesday or Thursday this coming week. Monday is Labor Day and I will be um, heading to Dearborn, Michigan that day. I am going to the Jim Henson exhibit that they have going on up there. It's the last day for it, I guess, tomorrow. And um, so I'm going to meet up with my cousin Cameron and we're going to have a great time seeing all the Jim Henson goodies. We actually did this a couple years ago, probably like five or six years ago. We drove we drove all out to Chicago and we went to the Jim Henson exhibit that they had there at their, um, I think it was the Science and Industry Museum out there. I can't remember exactly, but it was wonderful. And uh, I'm really looking forward to see what new items they have in there. I know that they have from Labyrinth, 
uh, Jareth and Sarah's ball attire that they wore to that kind of fever dream ball that they went to. And uh, if you've seen Labyrinth, you know what I'm talking about. It is so, it is so beautiful. That dress is gorgeous. So I'm really hoping um, that they'll let me take a video or pictures, if nothing else. I know the last time when we went to see the Jim Henson exhibit in Chicago, they were strictly against it. There was no audio, no video, no photos, nothing. So uh, I've seen leaked photos though from it. So I'm guessing it's acceptable I, I don't know we'll see tomorrow when I head up there but um I'll let you guys know how it goes regardless and uh, I'm gonna insert the footage from the last two days kind of poking around town and uh, I will see you in my next video This one's really cute. Apparition Academy. And the Island of Creepy Jacks. So cool. gals they're so cute this is cool oh wow bathtub which is kind of strange but also very cool I don't know exactly what you would do with this she's got a little pearl color and the little skeleton on the top. That's so cute. $14.99. Oh, he broke a claw. That's too bad. And see, we've got more of the I like that piece down there. I haven't seen that before. The little fence. Very cute. And we've got painting pieces. <laughs> A little Venus flytrap looking guy up here. Hmm. I really like this guy. These 
my pillows. Ooh, look at the candle holder. That is so pretty. $25 for that though. Oof. Hand over here. Got some little potion bottles. I got this cool guy. Twenty-five. Oh, here's a bigger version of that Venus fly trap looking guy for thirty dollars. And this is metal with like a coating kind of put on it. Oh, I like the sheen on this skull that's very mother of pearly. I like him a lot. 15, that's not bad. Oh, and then they've got the same guy, but he's a matte finish. And it's got those dark purple roses. Beakers this year. Some little black spindly trees for $21.99. Oh my gosh, give me a break. Okay, so this looks like blue, but it's more like a teal color. I don't know if you can tell that on the green is really pretty. And then we've got the real random odds and ends. More black vials. $14.99 is this one. And this guy is I don't like that. And then you've got a little bag of skulls. And we 
and just styrofoam. A snake candelabra or a snake oh, pedestal? Is it a pedestal? Yeah, you probably put a pillar candle in there. Be aware. Pillow again. I have not had any luck finding that Salem uh, sign. It's like a Salem apothecary or something. I really wanted to see what that looks like in person, but I haven't seen it anywhere yet. It's cute. It's a little embroidery on there. Bride again. She's again $6.99. And now we've also got a skeleton skull and a little glittery key. Over here we've got all the paintable porcelain pieces. Scorpions and some bats. A dog and a vulture up there. A little vampire bat. Look what I found! OMG! So I'm hoping they would have one of these. Do you know how much it costs? It's got Reptar on it. And I've got a cream colored one too. Does anybody want to tell me how much it cost? Ah, $40. Incredible. Oh my god. It's a little bit of everybody. A members only jacket. Oh my god. Holders. This guy. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> it's a ghost with his morning coffee and his laptop. And then you've got this. Oh my goodness, look at the little witch. And apparently there's also, what is that? A skeleton? A skeleton. Oh, he's right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this guy. So you've got these little three shelf sitters that have their little laptops and their morning coffee. Oh my god, I love them. <laughs> Those are great. We've got some witch hats over here. A couple cute little designs for $5 and $7.99 for this one. I like that green. And then we've got little teeny hats. That one's fun. Very, very, very cute. We've got some 
tutus for adults and almost looks like a fascinator with the way that stuff is folded over but it's a little spider on there on the little headband or you can get Maleficent type horns for $13 that's not bad so much stuff is to come but we've got some Halloween costumes for the kiddos on this wall and then we'll curl around here I really like this de decor that they've got going on in the candles flicker I don't know if you can tell <laughs> oh I like that too a little gargoyle in there and a little palmistry card this stuff is very very cool okay so like I said we got some more kids I like that guy very much and then we've got some window clings over here. Look at the dogs. <laughs> got those guys and we've got these guys here and then we've got the no, same one. Oh, you lost your thingy. Okay, well then I guess I won't try and put you back up there. I do like these bats, these are pretty cool. And then we've got some hay bales and spider webs and lights and tombstones and a terrific light up skeleton. Very cute. Okay, and then over here we've got a little kids' activities. And we've got some baskets, little pull out handles. These are kind of nice. We've got pumpkin carving stuff, a couple wigs and masks, some little hats. I woke up like this. <laughs> you could have a, what is this, green eyeballs and fangs, but what is it? What? You just hang them or do they go on your car maybe? Purple bat wings and fangs. Okay, well, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Some little decor for tables for decorating. Look at these little candy holders. I haven't seen the monster before. These are $12.99 here at Meyer. We've got a really cute garland here. That guy's adorable for $6.99. You've got a bat and then your quintessential boo ghost. <laughs> I am not going to play this. I've seen these other places. They're obnoxious. Look at how cute this guy is. I think he was here last year. I can't remember, but he is super, super cute. A little sharp, though, on the edges of the teeth. I'm not going to lie. If a kid reached their hand in there, they might cut themselves. And we've got some great plates. These are all plastic. Those are really nice. Some little plastic spiders spider webs there and then you've got a skeletal cat and a skeletal dog very sweet and a pillar candle holder for $5.99 can't beat that and then you've got the party people up here <laughs> it just dawned on me that that was <laughs> Don't fear the reaper. And he has a cowbell. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this guy's starting all by himself. You got this guy again. You've got the uh, the mummy who does walk like an Egyptian, I think. Oh, thriller. I don't want to get a copyright violation, but. And then we've got the tricycle ghost here. <laughs> oh my god. And random pens. Um, he, he pedals. Look at his little non-existent feet. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, this guy. Oh, dear God, dear God. And we've got more of these guys down here. Oh my God, those are so cute this year. All right, let's curl around here. We've got some uh, garlands, 
some skeleton ground breakers. So much more to come. I will be back, I promise. And you got other cute little things. Some little light up items, little glow sticks. <laughs> oh, he lights up too. Those are super cute. You got Frank, you've got a witch, and you've got Dracula, and you've got Ghost Face. What? <laughs> is it a pen? Or is it just. Yeah, it says it's a ballpoint pen. I guess I don't know how I'm supposed to. How do you. Um, maybe you have to be smarter than. I don't know. I don't know how this turns into a ballpoint pen. I guess if I sit here for a couple more minutes, I could figure it out, but um, I'm not going to. Um, so yeah, so they've got Dracula and they've also got a pumpkin dude and a little ghosty buddy. We have fun scrunchies, ladies of the 80s and 90s. They're coming back. Uh, I kind of feel a desire to buy some of these. Look at the ones with the candy corn. How cute are they? How much are these? $4.99? Oh dear. Oh dear. And then we've got some uh, Funny Bones gloves for your kiddos when they're out trick-or-treating and you know, 30 degree weather because you know it's probably going to happen again this year, at least for us Midwesterners. Heck, I'm sure even New England will get that cold. Probably more so. Who knows? We've got our Harry Potter sorting hat. This guy doesn't move though. He's just the hat itself. It doesn't move like some of the ones have in the past. So that's why he's only $12.99 as opposed to $39 or whatever he's been before. We've got a little blow up air skeleton ghost and a pumpkin. And we've got a gigantic climbing spider that's 15 feet. It's pretty impressive. And we've got some more masks. A very pretty mask here. These are nice. Look at how pretty that is. If I didn't have glasses, I would wear that. These are really nice. Yeah, going on back here. Oh, I love that one with the musical notes and stuff. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then we've got full face ones down here, the jester. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. And we've got a little mirror. He's uh, $10. And just a couple more things over here. So we've got a little skeleton on a stack of books who lights up. He lights up. Very cool. I like that with the way his eyes are sunk. That's really cool. Two different size pumpkins with the hands holding on to them. A see no, hear no, speak no evil pump or uh, skeleton water globe. A little rest in peace guy up here. Some felted pumpkins. Um, how about a pickled eyeball container, guys? This is cute, <laughs> and it's ceramic. I don't think the lid comes off. There's another one back there. What's this one? This one is pickled brains. And you've got either a bat on the top or you've got a hat. Those are so cute. For $15. I really like that. You've got a set of little pumpkin guys. And a little table centerpiece. That's very nice. A cat. And a little boo ghost. A little Snoopy window cling. <laughs> That's very sweet for eight bucks. You got your witch feet yard stakes. Home is where you hang your broom. Here's a couple more little shelf pieces, a little spooky owl and a tombstone. And then we've got a welcome, happy Halloween, the witch is in, and beware, haunted house sign for $10. And a little ghosty with some candy corn for five bucks. Okay, so then we've got a little door hang, hanging cover, glitter spider cutouts, a gigantic spider web to hang over your front door. Um, oh, look at this. <laughs> 
It's a garland of meat cleavers and machetes and hatchets. Oh, MG, that's so funny. Zombie crossing, zombie crossing, enter if you dare, and horror zone. I like those so much, and they're 30 feet a piece. 30 feet each tape. More door coverings for three bucks. $3.99 for these. <laughs> some glittery, glittery, glittery pumpkins. Some cool wall art to stick on your wall. Maybe I'll get something like this to put on my back wall in my, in my office. What do you guys think about that? I don't know which one. I kind of like all the bats. $3.99? I mean, right? Like, maybe... I really like this one, though, too. Oh, heck, I don't know. You know, I think we're gonna just do the bats, maybe, for now, with the Happy Halloween. See what it looks like. Because I think that that wall is textured, so I don't even know if this will work. But for, you know, $4.99 or $3.99, it looks like it's $3.99 for this one, so... We're gonna check it out and see what happens. Oh, this is a glow bats. <laughs> well, well, um, hey. All right, we'll do both. We'll do the regular bats and the glow bats. We'll see how this turns out. And if it looks terrible, I'll take it down. You'll never know the difference. But hey, you might as well try, right? There's dimensional bugs, like butterflies and dragonflies and and you've got the sweetie sweeties. Oh, I love the peanuts. I think they're so cute. Look at Lucy. <laughs> okay, I love those very, very, very much. Cannot find the thing to put it on. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, and then this is just end of summer stuff over here. And then on the back side of the centerpiece, we have another skeleton. We've got some scarecrows and we've got another tombstone with this handsome guy trying to bust out. Okay. Oh, I like that fall sign. It's huge. Okay, I think that that's it for Halloween. I'll keep walking around the store. If I see anything else, I will let you guys know. That, And I kept walking, and then I found these guys. So we've got a, another skeleton, uh, very akin to the ones that they got at, at home or Joann's. We've got a little ring holder. It says jewelry holder, but, you know. And then we've got a pumpkin that has the different constellations on it, which I think are the zodiac signs. And he lights up through the holes, that's really cool. And then we've got um, a velvet pumpkin that's actually kind of heavy, as opposed to what they normally feel like. And we've got a little mirror don't get me. This guy is, let's see, um, he is $17.99. says there's going to be a palmistry table decor in coming and a skull pillow, stacked skulls, skull candles. Oh guys, we're going to get a lot of good stuff. So I will, I will definitely be back. Okay, so not Halloween related, but I saw an upside down pumpkin and was like, what the heck is that Power Rangers toy? with a pumpkin head, and look at the little mini pumpkins he has. <laughs> it's gummy. Pumpkin love caribou. Cute. 